In the very first video of the series, I mentioned that Next.js is a full stack framework. You can write the front end code in React and also write APIs that can be called by the front end code. But how do we write those APIs? Well, that is where the API routes feature comes into picture. API routes allow you to create restful endpoints as part of your next application folder structure. Within the pages folder, you need to create a folder called API. And within that API folder, you can define all the APIs for your application. You can add business logic without needing to write any additional custom server code and without having to configure any API routes. Next.js gives you everything you need to write full stack React plus Node applications. So Next.js not only simplifies the front end, but also the back end. What more can we ask as developers? All right, let's now head back to VS Code and learn how to create a few APIs using the API Rods feature. For this section of the series, I have created another project called next-api. The same can be found on my GitHub repo. Now we want to start from scratch, so I'm going to delete a few things. In the pages folder, let's delete the API folder. Let's also delete the index.js file. And in the styles folder, delete home.module.css. All right, we can now create our first API with Next.js. The first rule, which we have to follow, is create a folder called API within the pages folder. The folder name has to be API and it has to be within the pages folder. Within the folder, we can create a file with any name, which will be automatically mapped to slash API and treated as an API endpoint instead of a page. Let's look at an example. I'm going to create a new file called index.js. For this API route to work, we need to export a function as default. And the convention is to call that function as handler since it handles the incoming request. So export default function handler. This function automatically receives two parameters, rec and res, short for request and response. Both these are standard Node.js objects, which we also had a look at when dealing with the context parameter in get server side props function. You can read more about them in the documentation. For our simple API, we're going to respond with some JSON data. So within the function body, res.status of 200.json, we pass in an object which has a name property set to home API route. Here, dot status is a function to set the status code and dot json is a function that sends a json response and that is pretty much our api route we can now start our app with yarn dev and in the browser navigate to localhost 3000 slash api we should get back the json response home API route. Our first API with Next.js is working as expected. This is pretty much the gist of API routes. Create files within the pages slash API folder and they are automatically mapped to API endpoints. And the mapping is similar to routing with pages that we had a look at in the first section but let me create a few more API routes to help you recollect. Within the API folder, if we create a new file called dashboard.js and copy paste the handler function, 
with name set to dashboard API route. In the browser, we can navigate to slash API slash dashboard and we get the expected response. We can also create nested folders. So in the API folder, create a new folder called blog. If you now create index.js within the blog folder with a similar handler, blog API route, we can access this API by navigating to slash API slash blog. And if you were to create another file within the block folder, let's say recent.js with name being recent blog API route, we can navigate to slash API slash blog slash recent and we get the expected response. As you can see, the API routes feature makes it very simple to create APIs without having to add any custom server setup code or route configuration. For new projects, you can build your entire API with API routes. You may want to perhaps access an external API and mask that endpoint, or even use environment variables to secure accessing external services. And the best thing is that the code we write in the APIs folder is never bundled with the front-end code. You don't have to worry about your API code slowing down the React app you ship to the browser. So to summarize, in Next.js, you're allowed to create APIs within the same project folder. The convention we have to follow is to create an API folder within the pages folder and define the files which automatically get mapped to a URL. Each API file must default export a function that handles the incoming request and sends an appropriate response. The handler receives the request and response as parameters to help us serve the data we want to send to the client. I hope you now have an idea of how API routes work in Next.js. Over the next couple of videos, I want to show simple examples of how to make get, post, and delete requests with our API routes. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.